Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Daniel Pineda. And my name's Adele Quo. And here we go with another show um, somewhere around the early part of December 2012. Uh, we hope you're enjoying uh, a safe and happy pre-holiday season here, and uh, you're enjoying the rather unseasonable warm weather. Yeah, weather, yeah. it was really nice yep. on Monday and Tuesday. News and Community Bulletin Board, Adele is here with... It's, it's Easy Being, being green. green. Yes, it is. Uh, CBB Community Bulletin Board, Rich Masabney and his reviews, News for Seniors. And then Miriam Gennari is back from uh, being on assignment. Uh, talking with the owner of uh, the Westover Market Beer Garden. Is that right? That sounds So good. for all you uh, beer garden lovers, stay tuned for that one. Uh, before we begin our news uh, stories, though, here's a reminder from my partner. Well, that's right, Craig. Arlington Weekly News is available on www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. And you can also visit us on Facebook. And on another note, go RG3. Excellent. All right, RG3. Rock'em, sock'em. Skins. Here we go, the first of our news items. A 34-year-old Arlington man has been arrested and charged with sexually assaulting a 16-year-old Yorktown High School student. The suspect was known to frequent the track area and then approach female joggers. Acting on a hunch, an Arlington police officer stopped by the school last Wednesday evening at around 6.45 p.m. The officer was able to catch the suspect Anibal Guzman later that evening while he was urinating in public. So we're glad they uh, have taken him off the street. Daniel. Craig, Arlington County Manager Barbara Donnellan has submitted a draft community energy plan or CEP to the county board. The CEP's mission is to provide a roadmap for reducing the county's greenhouse gas emissions 75 percent by the year 2050. That would match emissions levels in Copenhagen, Denmark, the global benchmark for low emissions. Visit freeairva.us slash energy plan to learn more about the plan. Craig. Some information now on the Blue Montebochi uh, saga taking place over there. A few weeks ago, uh, we reported on a controversy surrounding a bochi ball court proposed for Blue Mont uh, neighborhood. Uh, While well, the saga continues, several Bluemont Civic Association leaders have resigned after getting criticized for supporting the court. Then Arlington County staff was criticized by Bochi opponents in response to a letter that requested specific concerns uh, be addressed about the Bochi Ball Court. No official decision has been made about the courts. The courts are being considered for an Arlington Park Enhancement Grant. So stay tuned. We'll get you more on that one as it becomes available here. Daniel. Yeah, this is an exciting story. Someone <laughs> in Arlington is one million dollars richer. Last week, really? someone who purchased a ticket at a 7-Eleven store on Lee Highway matched first wow. the first five numbers, but not the Powerball number. Mm. They were one of four one million one million dollar winners in Virginia. The Powerball jackpot of over 800, uh, sorry, $587 million was split between two ticket holders in Arizona and Missouri, but it's believed that one of those two tickets was purchased locally in Maryland. So congratulations to us out. I mean, really? $1 million is still a significant amount of money, right, Craig? Three new million dollar winners in Virginia. That's something else. All right, thanks, Daniel. Well, Arlington Economic Development, or AED, office has <laughs> launched a Shop Arlington Savings Card <laughs> as part of its Shop Arlington campaign. Shoppers with the card can benefit by getting discounts and weekly specials. Local businesses, specifically restaurants, retail shops, and service providers, can get increased exposure. If you're a shopper, learn how you can get your Shop Arlington Savings Card by visiting shoparlington.org, save-big-bucks. If you're a merchant, visit the shoparlington.org merchant uh, website. Sounds Shop like a pretty away good deal. and save away, right? Really, it sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. All right, Daniel and I will be back with our uh, CBB Community Bulletin Board file right after we hear from Adele Quo and, and it's, it's easy, easy being green. green. Hey Adele, how are you? Oh great, how are you guys? We're doing okay. Excellent. It is easy being green when you're storm water wise. 
stormwater runoff is the largest water quality problem in the U.S. today. That's why Arlington County is asking local residents and businesses to reduce stormwater pollution. When rain falls on all of our hard surface roads, rooftops, and driveways, it flows into our storm drains. This stormwater runoff carries nasty pollutants to our local streams. Oil, bacteria from pet waste, sediment, and lawn chemicals are just a few examples. Why let the rainwater flow into the storm drains when you can use it for a number of things and even save money by using it? Captured stormwater can be used for such things as watering your plants, gardens, and lawn, washing your car, and flushing toilets. Arlington has six stormwater-wise practices that can be used by homeowners to protect our local streams from pollutants. One of the six stormwater practices includes harvesting rainwater by homeowners. The captured stormwater can be used um, to protect, I'm sorry, the capturing steam wa rainwater in barrels or cisterns is easy and relatively inexpensive. According to the Arlington County Stormwater Wise Landscape Program, the cost of a rain barrel or cistern can be somewhere bete between $300 and $2,000 depending on how you choose. Install a rain barrel or cistern at your home by connecting one to your downspout. It will capture the rain runoff from your roof. The untreated rainwater stored in your rain barrel is definitely better than, washing, than wasting municipal drink, drinking water for watering your landscape and for washing your car. By substituting captured stormwater for drinking water when irrigating your garden or washing your car, you can save a considerable amount of money on your water bill each month. If money is no object, select an attractive rain barrel or cistern that becomes part of your garden design. You can even do a web search for, by inserting attractive rain barrel into your browser search box. Or you can build a rain barrel at a low cost and learn how to install and maintain it. For details, check the website listed on your screen. Also, check out tips to paint your new rain barrel to fit your garden style and decor. Plus, check out photos of artistic rain barrels to provide inspiration by going to www.fairfaxcounty.gov slash nvswcd slash rainbarrels.htm. So let it rain. Remember, it's easy being green, capturing rain with rain barrels and cisterns. All right. Thank let you, it Adele. rain, let it rain. Yeah, let, let it rain. rain. Good. Nice job. Thank you, but I Adele. still miss, I like the it's warm weather, easy though. easy being green. Yeah, right. If no we're getting rain, that means we're not getting snow. Does it capture snow, too, in the rain? It barrel? turns into rain. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, Adele. Thank you, Adele. Okay, here we go now with our CBB Community Bulletin Board file, Childhood Obesity along with, with the diseases it causes has gotten to epidemic proportions, unfortunately. In addition to heart disease and diabetes too, uh, a study after study has tied childhood obesity to a decline in cognitive ability uh, to help combat this epidemic. The Arlington County Board has initiated the Coalition to Prevent Obesity in Children. The coalition includes Arlington County's Department of Parks and Recreation, Arlington Public Schools, uh, two major universities, and nonprofits. Or, our Nort Beckerman is assembling a team that will participate in the coalition. If you have an interest in preventing childhood obesity and learning more about it, you can uh, contact uh, this email. We have this in email information for you here. It is nort at ybhc.info. Check out that website and uh, help Nort and uh, others control childhood childhood obesity. Daniel. Such an important cause, yes, right, it Craig? Is. Well, the National Capital Area has a holiday project. They want to help bring cheer to local nursing home residents by visiting with them one-on-one -on -one in their rooms. Many residents won't have any other visitors this holiday. And if you would like to bring some cheer to a nursing home resident, and share the true spirit of Christmas by visiting uh, with them. Just give them a call at 703-370-0370. All right, tis the season as Santa is uh, coming. You can bring Christmas gifts to local kids whose parents are incarcerated. Offender Aid and Restoration, or OAR, is having their annual Project Christmas Angel program. Volunteers would pick up the gifts on Thursday, December 13, between 8 and 10 p.m. 
for delivery to families from December 14 through December 23rd. OAR has provided gifts to children with incarcerated parents in our local detention centers for more than 20 years. For more information, give them a call at 703-228-7031. Daniel. Brighten someone's day by making sure they get what they want from the library. Arlington Public Library needs volunteers to help with requests from patrons for items that aren't available at their favorite library. Duties will include going through the shelves and pulling the requested items, directing the requester to the location where the item can be picked up or completing a request to transfer and hold the item. Call 703-228-7688 for more information. Craig. Okay, Daniel, and uh, Daniel and I will be back with our News for Seniors file right after we hear from our man about town for Theater of the Arts and a whole lot more, Mr. Rich Masabna. Here's hey, Rich. Rich. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. Uh, have you taken advantage of the uh, Metropolitan Opera's simulcast at Boston Commons over there in Regal Theater? They really do a heck of a job. Uh, I just saw La Comenza di Tito uh, last Saturday, and uh, coming up, I mean, on... December 8th, there's, uh, there's another show on the 15th, January 5th. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm all choked up. But I'm telling you, they do good stuff. And it's live off the stage. It's on a Saturday, 1 o'clock, and it's happening at the same time at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. So you save yourself a trip. Uh, call 1-800-MET-OPERA. It's on the screen. Uh, look up their website, metopera.org, and that's just wonderful stuff. Uh, the Little Theater of Alexandria, by the way, uh, you can't do a Christmas time without doing a Chris Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. And I want to tell you something. How many times have we all seen that show? A million? Well, I think it's the best one I've seen yet because of uh, Elliot Bales, who plays Ebenezer Scrooge. He's wonderful, wonderful. And uh, there's Markley Adams. He's a narrator. He's Dickens, and he narrates the thing. And then there's a bunch of kids, a bunch of other people, it's really terrific. Christmas Cal runs through December 16th in Alexandria at the Little Theater of Alexandria. Call 703-683-0496 and check the web, thelittletheater.com. Uh, I don't know when I've ever uh, seen so much energy on the stage as altar boys at the first stage at Tyson's. Uh, 90 minutes, no inter intermission, nothing like that. Singing and dancing, dancing by Matthew, Mark, Luke, Juan, and Abraham. Yeah, they mix in the, the Bible with a lot of jumping around and songs and good times. Altar Boys opened Off-Broadway in 2005. It was a hit and uh, uh, for seven years. The story is about uh, five small-town boys and, uh, you know, Christian values and all that, and to try to save the world, mixing religion and happy, happy times. The boys... Uh, are really uh, do a good job. Now that's at that's at Tyson's Corner there. Uh, it's um, you you got to find them there. They're at uh, but anyway, I'm going to give you their phone number 703-854-1856 and check the website First Stage. What do you tell them here for some note for me? Oh, First Stage, uh, Tyson's dot org. Okay, um, let's see Arena Stage now is doing something, it's very poignant, but funny too, called um, uh, Pullman Porter Blues. Um, uh, in 1937, and really beyond that into the 40s, I even remember it when I was a baby, uh, there's a proud African American serving white Americans. Uh, these African Americans porters were dressed in their starched white coats on trains uh, serving the traveling public. Uh, eventually helped form the first black union, the International Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters, uh, led by A. Philip Randolph, a well-known guy. Uh, directed by Lisa Peterson, the Arena production is a co-production with the Seattle Repertory Theater. Arena, Arena's favorite, E. Faye Butler, adds much laughter as Sister Juba in this serious production. Uh, lots, of, lots of heartfelt songs, Pullman Porter Blues, Plays through January 6th at Arena Stage downtown. Call 202-488-3300 or check them out under arenastage.org. Um, the Virginia Opera brought another successful show to 
to where they play it locally at George Mason University Center for the Arts. Uh, uh, they, they, they have uh, Johann Strauss's beautiful De Flattermaus, uh, which uh, means the bat. Uh, this is one of those happy, delightful, silly uh, shows of mistaken identities. Uh, and the, the music was glorious. Uh, Dorothy uh, Danner was the uh, director, and Gary Thor Widow, I didn't know him, conducted the, the Virginia Symphony Orchestra. For information and tickets for all future performances, I think they got something coming up. Well, I know they do in March 1st and 3rd. Andre Previn, you know that guy? Well, he's, he's done A Streetcar Named Desire, his version. Uh, that'll be in March 1st and 3rd. Anyway, you can call up the, over here at the George Mason at Center for the Arts at 1-888-945-2468 or check the website at uh, cfa.gmu. Uh, they, they just they do good stuff and it's reasonably priced. It isn't like going down to the Kennedy Center, they, you know what I mean? Um, okay, I, I got a, uh, a new girlfriend, I have to admit. I'm crazy about a singer, dancer, entertainer, uh, Sandy Bainham. Uh, I think down deep she's crazy about me, but I haven't confirmed it yet. But I want to tell you, I was over at Signature Theater last Monday, this last Monday, and she knocked me out and everybody else in the theater there uh, with her singing enthusiasm. And well, I'm going to show you a picture. Is it up there? Look at that. The Look screen. at that. They got it on the screen. I got it with me. I usually have this pinned to my T-shirt, but uh, I pulled it off so you could see this. You want to see this? Okay, yeah. You got that, you uh, go. Bill? You got that, Bill? Good. I mean, this is a girl not only is gorgeous, <clears throat> She's just as nice and lovely a, a, a person you can find. And she put out a, a, a Christmas album. Or, well, they're not albums anymore, are they? What yes, are they? CDs. CDs. Sandy Bainham. Or you just go to uh, iTunes, right? I don't know. Is that where you go? <laughs> um, anyway, look at this. Uh, she's got this red dress on. Um, so where can we see her? At Signature, Signature Theater? Well, no. She just said that one night. Oh, she one had one, night. Oh, one but, night. But uh, I, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. She's um, something else. And where can people purchase the the, the Okay, DVD very good question. Um, she has uh, her website is okay. sandybainham.com. It's on the screen. <coughs> yep. Uh, yep. They have a picture of me. I uh, put her alongside her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the phone number. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't tell Judy. Moving right along. Three zero one five one two four five seven five to answer your question. Call 301-512-4575, and you can get these. Hold up the CDs, I think. Wonderful yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Go. You got that? <coughs> okay. You're all choked up. Beautiful. I am. Look at the back of it, too. Hold it down a little bit. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, I feel sorry for the kid because she's married, and, you know, I'm not available. But uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> Till next week. Excellent. <coughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you, Rich. Okay, now as promised, uh, our news for seniors segment. Before we begin, I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, my my newest uh, our viewer and fan here, Barish, who is a CISA student at NDU. Uh, Barish is from Turkey, and uh, thanks for watching, Barish. Hang in there Thank and you. tell all of your friends in Turkey about the Arlington Weekly News. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, here we go with our first of our uh, news for seniors items: Legal Services of Northern Virginia or LSNV provides free confidential free. legal assistance, FRWE free, uh, to seniors. Their areas of expertise include Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, consumer and housing law, and insurance. LSNV attorneys will be available at a couple of senior centers, but you must, must make an appointment first. Uh, they'll be there on Tuesday, December 11 at 9.30 in the morning from 9.30 to 11.30 at Langston Brown Senior Center. Call Langston Brown at 703-228-6300 and also from 1 to 3 p.m. at Lee Senior Center uh, to make your appointment at Lee Senior Center. Give them a call, 228-0555 for some free legal advice. Daniel. Well, in today's <laughs> increasingly challenging driving environment, seniors could benefit from reviewing uh, defensive driving techniques. The manager of the Office of Senior Adult Programs, Cheryl Johnson, encourages seniors to enroll in a two-day driver safety course that AARP is offering. The sessions are at the Madison Community Center on Wednesday, December the 12th and Thursday, December the 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Seniors who attend both days will receive a certificate 
for premium mm -hmm. auto insurer discounts. The two-day class costs $14 or $12 if you're an AARP member. To register, give them a call at 703-228-0555. And before we go on to our next story, what happened to your senior glasses, Craig? Oh, I did forget my it's senior tradition. glasses. Appreciate that. Thank yes. you. All right, some information now on senior discounts. Shop Arlington. Uh, seniors have an opportunity to learn more about uh, the new Shop Arlington discount card. Kelly Rindfuse, Director of Communications at the Arlington Economic Development Office, uh, will meet with people, oh, that's much better, on Thursday, December 13th at 1 in the afternoon at Walter Reed Senior Center. Using the card benefits both residents and the community. To learn more about the Shop Arlington card and to register, call them at 703-228. 0955. Check it out, Daniel. And this next story might be uh, interested, uh, Adele might be interested in this next story. Several master gardeners of Northern Virginia will conduct a hands on wreath making workshop at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, that is December the 11th, at Langston Brown Senior Center. Supplies will be available, including evergreen seed uh, pods, cones, and other natural materials, and participants can bring decorative items such as holders and candles. The workshop costs five dollars. Call 703-228-6300 to register. And once again, we obviously want to thank our own Thanks, Judy Sobney of the Office of Senior Adult Programs for building us, or rather, bringing us uh, this information. <laughs> thank you so much uh, for your hard work Check and mail, right? your dedication. Thank Beautiful. you so much, Judy. Thanks, Judy. We appreciate it. Okay. Wrapping up now uh, on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News, uh, we go to Miriam Gennari and her guests. Take it away, Miriam. Miriam. Thank you. And now I'm here with Devin Hicks, owner of the Westover Market in Westover Village. Thanks for being with us, Devin. Thank you so much for the invite. So the Westover Market, is the market about the food or the beer? Um, well, I think it's uh, mainly about the beer. It's been like moss, kind of taking over areas, but we still carry some of the products that people really need. Um, and that's yeah, over a thousand different types of beer now. Well, so tell me, how do you choose the beers that you have in the market? Um, well, I've been there since 2007, and in the beginning I was more active about which beers we would bring in, um, talking to vendors, talking to the patrons who came in, uh, tastings, but uh, now it's basically what new product can we get because we'll take it so so a lot of people outside of Arlington come to uh, a place called the beer garden and I seem to recall and that's that's also part of the Westover market that's right. I seem to recall that there was some controversy about music and events how did that resolve itself um, it's been a long road but uh, basically the support of the community was uh, fantastic and kind of having the county kind of hear our side and jump over a couple of hurdles that uh, were in place. Um, so everything has been resolved. Um, we now have the music back. It's Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Fridays and Saturdays are amplified. And obviously the beer garden just celebrated its third anniversary and the beer house its first anniversary. So. And it's really added something to this, uh, to this village and this kind of neighborhood feel. Vitality. Uh, in, indeed. Yes. Now, very different from Clarendon, different mm -hmm. from Boston. In what way would you say? Um, it's got that kind of home, small town feel. You could throw a rock and you have the bustling city, though. And it's, you know, very unpretentious. Uh, it's just all walks of life, but they're, they know how to be friendly, I guess. That would be that was something that all up. Yes, and one thing that I had noticed that Clarendon had a lot of really um, great restaurants that I like to eat at because um, they just had a very unique way of taking care of the customer. And exactly. that leads me to um, an award that uh, I would like to um, bestow upon you. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about the Abbey Award, okay. which Arlington bestowed upon you uh, for being the best, uh, I believe, after hour. Happy hour. Happy hour place in Arlington. But rather the fact that um, I have now uh, seen you listed on a website called Styrofoam Mom. Of course. Because you no longer at the market use single use styrofoam. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was a wonderful decision. Now, how did you come to that decision? Well, um, actually, you, you brought it to my attention about a year ago. 
<laughs> and uh, and we made it happen finally. Yeah, and people were happy. Um, we uh, our local vendor happens to carry Eco Products, and that's the name of the company that uh, that gets uh, supplies. So, so was it a difficult thing to do? I mean, no, can you tell some of the other restaurants that continue to use those types of products? And I know I, I mentioned Lion Lion Park and um, Northside Social. Oh. They're they're companies that have also chosen to Fantastic. be yeah. environmentally. I mean, whatever friendly. little thing you can do to help, why wouldn't you do it? So, yeah, it's not much, but it's something. Well, I, I think that um, that taking care of the community and taking care of your clients means uh, thinking about the, the long-term health and sustainability of exactly, Arlington. Exactly. And that's definitely something that you're doing. Now, we talked a little bit before, and since we have a couple minutes, can you tell us about some of the things that you're planning upcoming for the Beer Garden and Westover Market? Well, we like to keep people on their toes so we won't divulge too much on future plans, but we'll keep the people happy and keep making it better. And um, right now, people can go outside. And yeah, um, it's a great uh, kind of ambiance and atmosphere with the fire pits now. Those are nice to enjoy with a great beer in your hand and friendly people. It's it's not a bad way to spend an evening. Can you catch the football game? Oh, yes. Yes, that was a fun Monday night. Okay. Yes, that was a great yes, game. that was awesome. And now, um, are you shoppers of the Westover Market, the um, farmer's market? Um, unfortunately, we haven't kind of met in the middle with the vendors there um, for whatever reason. But hopefully, I mean, that's, that's kind of something on our agenda. Maybe you could talk to them. I think that's a wonderful idea. Well, I, I also think it's just wonderful that you're a small business and you're thriving here in Arlington and you're attracting additional business to Arlington. Um, ov overall, would you say that Arlington's a good place to do business? Yes, it's a great place to do business. And your clientele? Clientele is great. So um, if I was to come out this weekend and uh, check out what was happening at the beer garden, what might I uh, encounter? Um, Friday we, do, uh, we have a tasting set up from 5 to 7 or 8, I believe, with the local uh, beer vendor. Uh, we have our cheesemonger. He's going to do a tasting from the same times. And uh, something's planned for Saturday. I can't remember. Oops. Well, I do know that there's a, there's a football game on Sunday, so that'll Sunday definitely will be, fun, be happening. Yes. The Ravens and the Redskins, that will definitely be fun for everybody. Absolutely. Well, Devin, I just want to thank you for um, coming here and uh, spending some time with us and telling us your wonderful news. Thank you so I'll, much. I'll also say that I'm going to come to the beer garden and I am going to make a toast to sustainability in I'm, your honor. I and, look forward uh, to that pint. <laughs> a pint. Okay, I can do that. Fantastic. And um, so I want to thank y you back at the, the news desk for um, your continued work and assisting me in bringing you the sustainable scoop. If by chance you're interested in finding out other restaurants that don't use styrofoam, or actually, I'm sorry, uh, restaurants and businesses that receive the Abbey Award, go to shoparlington.org and backslash Abbey. I'm Miriam Gennari, and that's the Sustainable Scoop. Okay, thanks, Miriam. And uh, for all you local Westoverians over in, and Arlingtonians, <laughs> stop down at the Westover Beer Garden and... Uh, have a uh, cup of holiday cheer, but find a designated driver if you stay for more than one or two. But that would, that sounds fun. Who knew there was a beer garden here? Yeah, West they call West them West Ovaries. West Okay, oh. of course they do. All right, Rich. And uh, I guess that's about a wrap yeah. for this edition well, of the, the Arlington Weekly News. I Anything do want to say props to like RG3. To he RG3, did a, he absolutely. Did great. Yep, go Skins. Go Skins, uh, looking yep. Looking for a big win Sunday. And uh, that's it. Anything else to add, gentlemen, before West Ovaries? Who's RG3? Oh, okay. yeah. oh man! Someone a little before Come on, Sonny Rich. Jurgensen. Okay. People have respect. Too for much you. time here. We got to go. Thanks for watching this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Uh, have a safe week next week. You be there. We'll be here, and we'll do it all again. Take care. Bye bye.